I'm gonna finish this dude off with Prevent Rat. How weak and pathetic do you have to be to lose to being direct attacked by Prevent Rat? Chaz did try to duel Alexis for a date, didn't he? It's probably one of those like season one wild ones. No, wasn't that when he had all the shadow keys for like the, the whatchamacallsits? Atticus was like, yeah, duel my sister to get her to date you. She'll love that. And Atticus was very, very wrong. And then they put the entire world at stake for it, which honestly, I gotta give Chaz respect. I mean, when you're trying to score a date with a waifu, what's a little bit of putting the world in potential danger? Right? Like, if you have the opportunity to date, like, the best girl in the series, then you gotta do what you gotta do, man. Sometimes it be that way. Hey, let's add some of those new cards to my deck before I forget. Again. What is L and R on this keyboard? Is it A and D? It's A and D. Aqua Mador goes in. I thought this was Aqua Matador, but it's Mador. Tips Fedora, Mador. Card of Sanctity. Can you believe that this is what this card actually does and when Yugi uses it in the show, it's just like, hey, draw six cards? Which is absolute nonsense, like one of the stupidest ideas of all time. Hey, yeah, just like, you know, draw until you have six cards in your hand. That seems fair. What else did I want in here? Don't want Little Chimera, but I do like the idea of Little Chimera. Luminous Spark is a fun field spell. I like the I like to make a deck where it's basically just like choose one attribute and then throw in the field spell that is uh throw in the field spell that is like uh I'll say it in a second. That is add like 500 attack, subtract 400 defense. You know what? Put Zoa in this deck. We we could use another another sacrifice monster. Bistro Butcher is strong, but I don't like his effect because it makes my opponents more likely to draw things that hurt me. So I don't want that. Launcher Spider. Launcher, I barely know her. Ha 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 ha. Uh, where is... Giant Red Sea Snake is right there. 1800 attack, we want that. I think those might be the only cards we got that I immediately want to throw in. Who on earth is going to run Zombie Warrior? What a worthless card. Uh, it is no longer worth having this Harpy Lady. Two more cards have got to go. Mystical Elf has been replaced with Aqua Mador. Brain Control is in this deck? We have not drawn Brain Control a single time today. I think I want to get rid of another monster here. Probably Illusory's Gentleman can go. I don't know why he's still here. He was still here because he was in the default deck. Like, that. that's the only reason he was still there. That feels right. Not that. Bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Save the game. Was this Monday? I think this is Monday. We have one more day to go through before cards restock. I like the duel of Jaden and a tennis star to be Alexis's fiance. That's what I'm saying. That episode was insane. And then Jaden was like, what's fiance? Is it a food? And I was like, that's my man right there. That's my man. I was thinking about doing another puzzle, but we'll do another puzzle tomorrow. Cause that's when we'll have the packs restock. We'll do a few more so we can take advantage of the restock. No, not you! I don't like dueling you! Go away!
I need I need to beat this guy enough times to register him so I can then avoid him for the rest of my natural born life. That is a tremendous fire. Oh, this stupid spell card is like when you summon a monster, it goes to defense mode. Yeah, I hate that. This is such an unfun deck. Not my deck, my deck is fine. This guy's deck is a nightmare. I hate this guy so much. I don't know what the devs were thinking. Like, oh, it's a valid strategy. I don't care if it's a valid strategy. It's unfun. No one wants to duel this crap. Giant germ. Giant germ. By the way, we're back on the classic, uh... The classic clock of we have to win this duel before he either draws Gravity Bind or Messenger of Peace, because if he does, we lose. Oddly green giant germ. Well, you know, it's green in defense mode. Hey, that face down card better not be Gravity Bind. If that face down was Gravity Bind, you would tell me, right? All right, cool. So we have to draw... Oh, I didn't put Zoa in the deck, did I? Or did I? No, I think I did put Zoa in the deck. We we now have to draw Zoa, Black Luster Ritual, or the other card, Ryu Ron. Every time he puts down a face down, my heart, like, dies inside. I do be stumbling, though. Please draw one of- there are three cards. Actually, there are five cards that can get me out of this right now, because Fissure will get me out of it, too. And I just can't draw any of those things. I'm gonna leave open the last monster slot in case I draw a man-eater bug. That would also get me out of this situation. One of those is gonna be Gravity Bond. We'll find out right here, actually. Yep. Just, I, I'm not gonna sit here for another 30 minutes. All I want is to register this guy so I can never duel him again. It would also be a different story if we had Mystical Space Typhoon or Heavy Storm, but we don't yet. And we don't have Dust Tornado either. Any of those cards would, uh would make that I would, like, try to win. It would be actually doable. Actually, I probably still would have surrendered there just for the sake of, like, content. Because it wouldn't be fun to sit through however many turns it would take me to draw one of the cards I needed. Mindy, here we go. That's what I'm looking for. I don't remember what event we do after Alexis. But we will find out. It's been so long since I watched the show, and some of the episodes made it into this game, and some didn't. Mindy's deck is such, like... Dueling this chick is such a waste of time. <laughs> Her deck is a whole lot of nothing that is just like, how long can we make this last? die. Don't... Don't ruin the surprise chat of like, oh, this is where this card is in this pack, etc, etc. You know, I'm playing the game. We'll find out. It's been so long since I've actually used the packs instead of just an AR code that I don't, like, remember a lot of them, so... You know, we'll, we'll find them the way the developers intended. die. Hey, look, that could end up being our spirit. I sure hope it isn't, though. That card sucks.
Karibo. The ultimate time-wasting card. All your boy wants in life is like all of the elemental heroes. I don't remember when you get the first elemental hero pack. They're spread between like two or three packs. I think you have to you have to get to like level 10. Some of the packs you unlock by going further in the story. Some of you some of them you unlock by leveling up. It's super weird. Nailed it. And again, I just like, sometimes when I play this game, I use the glitch to just buy the cards. And then a lot of the time I would just immediately slap it with an AR code so that I could uh, use whatever cards I wanted. Wrecked. I'm glad you don't have to fight the Moki Moki kid. Oh yeah. You don't have to fight tennis guy. Uh, you don't. I don't think you fight the uh, the like Tarzan ripoff dude. I don't think you duel him in this game either. You fight. You fight Blair. We definitely do the Blair event. Usually when it gets late at night, Mindy and Jasmine will be at the dorm. The chimp with the dual disc. That's another one that isn't in this. We get to fight all the Shadow Riders, obviously, because that's like the main plot of this game. Because they're cool. You ever think about how large and shiny the eyes in this game are? All of these characters have such giant bright eyes. Ooh, that card gets stronger with every equip spell on it. I want to kill it immediately. Go away. Uh, that's annoying. Honestly, fine. I'll let you destroy it, and then I'll hit you with the, uh, the trap. I always use the glitch because the arrow always softlock my game. That's very unfortunate. Oh, is this the thing that makes me discard a card at random? Yeah, that sucks. That was my favorite rat. Ooh, I get to destroy any monster. I was wondering if it would let me do that or if it would destroy the one that did the damage. Ectoplasmer! We're seriously, we're this card. We're doing this. Oh, we get to do the Jinzo event. Get to duel Jinzo. Well, this frigging sucks. Anyone else hate Ectoplasmer? Raise your hand. Please draw a monster. Okay, well. This is a fun duel thus far. You're not even using Ectoplasma. Yeah, Blair's event is in the game, yeah. I'm flipping Mask of Darkness here, not because I want Michizure back, even though that's probably what I would have picked anyway, but because I want to sacrifice Mask of Darkness to Ectoplasma instead of my Battle Ox. And then if I could just draw like a level four monster every single turn, that'd be great. Be very useful to my plans. I probably should have thrown down Michizure, but whatever. We really don't have to worry about dueling Jasmine. Unless we get really unlucky with draws with Ectoplasma. Soul Taker, oh! That's so annoying. No. Is this one of those cases where Spellbinding Circle will be here forever now? That's such a weird interaction. Please tell me this is the thing that reshuffles my hand. 
Look at your opponent's hand, select one monster card and return it to the owner's deck. Oh, no, it's not. It, it doesn't reshuffle my hand. Yeah, I don't have any monsters, loser. As much as I really wish I did. Yeah, we get to do the Paradox event. That's right. We do get to dual Para and Dox. No. Can I please draw a monster this turn? Or even better, let me draw a Graceful Charity. Please. Well, we were tied on life points for a second there. I didn't even notice. It's something. I, I guess Jasmine and I are now going to take turns punching each other until one of us dies. I summon a monster and attacks, sacrifice it to Ectoplasma. She summons a monster and attacks, sacrifices it to Ectoplasma. Top deck war, exactly. Soul release? Seriously? The anti-Exodia card? You had Obnoxious Celtic Guardian this entire time, huh? Chat, you ever get a moment where, like, your ear starts itching and it just doesn't stop? I'm having one of those moments right now. Well, currently losing the top deck war. You got fleas. I sure hope not. Why, like, why didn't I play Swords of Revealing Light, though? That's the real question. It's because I've committed to the top deck war. I'm gonna scream? Where are all of I have like 22 monster cards in this deck. Where are they? Well, there are like 15 more in it right now, but still. And of course you played a face down. I, I <laughs> Losing my mind right now? Hey, guess what? You're gonna sacrifice that thing at the end of your turn. You ever forget that Swords of Revealing Light does the whole, like, reveal face down monster thing? Oh no, she got more life points than me. I'm in the- I'm in the danger music. Chuckles, I'm in danger, etc. Oh my goodness, a monster?! That's insane! That's crazy! Bum bum! Goodbye. If I do end up playing the 5Ds games on the channel, by the way, one of the things that I love about the 5Ds games is the characters all have little dialogue lines they say at specific points throughout the duel when they do certain things, and you get to customize those. You don't get to write whatever you want, but they give you a bunch of predetermined lines that you can choose, and I love doing that. Well, I guess I may as well put you face down. You're not the monster I was looking for. But if I summon another good monster, I can flip that face up to Ectoplasma It and save the other one. Yeah, marry me, Akiza. That would be my dialogue, yes. Where are all of my monster cards? We are on turn 25 of this duel. How? I... 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 Uh... I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. How is any one man supposed to commentate over this? Oh, hey, it's the obnoxious Celtic Guardian. You're about to get a magic cylinder to the jaw. Actually, wait, is this a 2,000 defense point monster? Yeah, never mind. You can take the 600 to the jaw instead. Because now I'm going to have to sacrifice this at the end of my turn. I should have... I should have magic cylindered. She probably would have attacked with the battle warrior. Ow. Yeah, this is still worth attacking. Yes, you clearly don't believe in the heart of the cards. I'm winning! I mean, she has more life points, but I'm in a way better position. Bum, bum. 
It must be nice to just summon a monster whenever you want. Or to draw a monster, rather. Yeah, that was a really bad call by her. Although I didn't draw- oh, wait, I get rid of Ectoplasma, let's go! And also get the Spellbinding Circle out of my, uh, trap card zone. Uh, put this down. Put this down. Put this down. Now I get an extra turn with Gazelle, let's go. Jerry Beans Man and Adhesive Explosive were my favorite spirits. Both good spirits. Literally, I'll take either of them. Just please, when I get my spirit, which I think is after Alexis, maybe? I don't remember. Oh, we have to do that Titan fight where you fight the uh, the guy who's a Shadow Rider, but he shows up before he's a Shadow Rider or whatever, who like steals Alexis. Oh, hey, Zoa, you're a little late to the party here, bud. Bum, bum. I have Negate Attack, Seven Tools of the Bandit, and Magic Cylinder, so no matter what she draws, we should win here. Oh my goodness, I almost lost because I forgot that she had that card. <laughs> that was close. Wow, imagine losing to Maneater Bug, could not be me. Get him, little buddy. If I had one more card in my hand, that would've been game over. That was actually really funny, how insanely close this was for no reason. 34 turns! I think we get DP per turn, so that's a, that's a little bit of extra DP. I wanna hit level seven ASAP. Little life point bonus, let's go. Oh no, you don't get uh, DP for turns. Maybe that's in the five Ds games. No way, I lost. That was a nightmare. <laughs>